Packs are back. What's up, my dudes? So, a couple weeks ago, all of the glorious hacker bullshit on MX Simulator has reared its ugly head again. Some of you guys have probably seen this in some of the discords, you know, etc. Uh, dude's trying to be like, come buy my hacks, bro. Like he's opening up his jacket pocket in school or some shit. Like he's got, you know, candy bars. Like, bro, I got the speed hack right here, bro. I got the low gravity hack over here on the other side, bro. Just pick what you want, dude. Oh my God. So, yeah, Spency Boy been around this game long enough. Basically, what seems to happen here is it's like every three or four years, all of a sudden, all the hacks come back up to the surface of this game, and then it's like everybody forgets about them and then thinks there's not even hacks in the game, bro. Like, what's going on? Because, like, there's a lot of new players that get into this game. I've had a shitload of guys that really just don't understand what's going on and they are new to the game in the last couple years and they literally just don't believe that hacks even exist in this game you know it's like pro no you're just playing around spence like that's not actually a real thing people aren't actually running hacks on sim yes the hell they are bro Yes, they are. That is one big point of this video right here. This is just another example. Yes, there are hacks in this game. Low gravity, speed hacks, every kind of hack you can possibly imagine, it is in this game. And there is no anti-cheat, okay? You even have individuals that are currently racing in the RF Pro Racing posting videos of them running the hacks on their YouTube channel and nothing is happening to them at all. I don't know what the hell's going on over there at FR headquarters. I don't know, but they have just gotten sort of laxidaisical, kind of lazy on a lot of that. Let's really be looking into who's running these hacks and because back in the day, it used to be, if you were even just caught with the hacks, running them in single player, or even just, if they could verify that you had gotten the hacks from whoever it was that was trying to sell them or whatever, you would get perma banned on the spot for that. Now, it seems as if you can post videos of it, you can have it, you can, I don't know, but RF's gonna have to get on that shit again. You know what I'm saying? Like but you've had a lot of these different individuals anytime i start bringing up the hacking rf needs to do more about it these particular individuals will try to make some sort of big joke out of it like bro spencer literally thinks every single person is hacking in the pro racing you know spencer just got this crazy idea don't listen to him bro you know they basically try to downplay it in a sense um and to those individuals, yeah, just be a little bit more obvious that you yourself are doing some shady shit in this game. Because if you weren't doing anything shady and you were racing legit in this game, you weren't doing no key sharing, you weren't doing no hacking, you weren't doing any of that, then you would be on the exact same page that I am with trying to prevent people from doing it or catching the people that are doing it you would be right there along with me if you were actually playing the game legit that's all that really is bro that's all it is bro and there's a lot of people playing on that side of the court you know what i'm saying a lot of guys done done some bullshit in this game whether it's you know cheating in some kind of a way, exploiting in some kind of a way, and so they look at it like, oh, well, you know, yeah, I mean, there's hacks in the game, but, uh, you know, no big deal, bro. Anybody that is participating in the pro racing of MX Simulator that just acts like hacking in this game is like no big thing or, you know, it's some big joke to even talk about it or whatever, those are the people you need to be watching the closest 
because those are the people that's doing that bullshit, okay? And listen, I'm not saying everybody and their grandmother is hacking in the pro racing, you know, and constantly running micro hacks. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying select individuals have certainly got away with it here and there in the past. There's just no doubt in my mind about that. And I feel like RF really needs to get better about looking closer at when one singular individual is running three or four seconds faster of a fast lap in the race or a qualifying lap, you know, when they are getting up into that four seconds faster than anybody else. Bingo, bingo, red flag, red flag. You know, it's one thing to be a second faster or two seconds faster than anybody else, but you are not just going to legit be four to five seconds faster than everybody else in this game, bro. You're just not. That's not how it works. But the goofballs in this game, they don't understand that, oh, well, maybe he is just that good. Oh, maybe he... No, he's not. No, he's not. The whole top five in this game, top ten in this game, bro, they have dialed in setups. They've been playing this game for a long time. They know what the hell they're doing. They are not going to be that far off. They're just not. You know, in Supercross, it's like you'll see a guy that's like maybe one second faster than everybody else in a race or something, but a lot of times there's still some other random dude that'll match that lap, you know, and that's the whole thing. Like, you're going to have somebody else that is capable of running a similar lap at some point there's not one single person in this game that is just actually that much better than everybody else in this game. It just doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Real life is a little bit different because they've got, you know, parts on the bike and di all different kind of shit. MX Simulator has been like even playing field for a long time in the sense of like everybody's got access to the same sort of setup. There's not you know, special factory parts over here on another bike that's, like, changing it for certain guys. Like, everybody's got, on an even playing field, access to the same shit. So, even more so, MX Simulator Fast Laps should actually be closer together than they would be in real life. Going to prove to you that if one individual is four to five seconds faster than anybody else it's even more down the suspicious route. There are certainly people racing right now that are in that suspicious category. But what happens is they get to buddy-buddy in with some of these RF dudes. It's like, oh, we'll just let that guy slide. It don't really... Because we know him, so it don't really matter, bro. You know, all kinds of weird-ass little politics that go on with this game. I mean, if you think RF is playing fair in this game, you might want to rethink your shit. Because all the dudes that are a part of RF get the tracks early and then go in there and participate in the racing in Supercross when everybody else only gets an hour on the track before the race. Yeah, they're definitely uh, playing it fair and professional, boys. You know, good old RF, okay? So, like I say, there's all kinds of bullshit and levels and layers and things going on here, okay? But I feel like what really allows people to get away with it on Sim, in a sense, is because it's like some dude will, will be pretty decent at the game at a base level, right? Like, motherfucker would already be qualifying probably top five, okay? But then you pack on a... 5% micro hack to that, whether it's 5% lower gravity or 5% more speed, more acceleration, okay? And it's going to take that top five guy all the way up to a almost like a unachievable kind of speed from anybody else that's playing the game legit, you see? So it's not just like you took some random Joe Blow off the side of the road and gave them hacks, and then all of a sudden they're five seconds faster than everybody and nobody can catch it. It's not really like that. You see what I'm saying? It's all strategic. I mean, if a motherfucker's gonna really 
try to get away with that on sim, they're going to try to do it in a strategic way. They're not going to go in there and run some super high hack, you know, and they were already decent before they started running the micro hack. So then it just stacks on, you see, then it just looks like it, it, it tricks dudes up into thinking, well, maybe, maybe that guy just really is that much better because MX Simulator feels so unlimited with how fast it feels like you can go in the game. But I'm just telling you right now, there's, you're not going to go that much faster. You can be consistent and, you know, do better in a racing environment by being consistent, but to go in there and run a four second faster of a lap time than all these other guys that are trying their ass off in this game and they have good setups and they have tested and they've done their homework and they know what the hell they're doing in this game, I promise you, you're not gonna be four or five seconds faster than everybody. It's just not gonna happen. So RF needs to get a little bit better about that. When an individual starts to expose their self like that, when they're not just two seconds faster than everybody, they're not just three seconds faster than everybody, you know, they start getting in that stupendous range, you need to start looking into that a little bit more. RF, you need to start paying attention a little bit more.